Greetings, mortals, and welcome back to the blindness of eternity. When last we left off, we were talking to a grieving mother who was not, as far as I know, actually a mother. She seems very strange to me. Um, strange woman. Um, she uses her mind control powers to make women take care of their children properly. Oh, that is so cool. Her selection thing is the chimes. But if your dukes ordered you to return home... The safety of the republics is being decided here. If I do what needs to be done, there'll be time enough to beg forgiveness when the dust settles. You must do what you feel is best. I understand. Your mind comes bearing questions, Watcher. Yes, it does. I'm gonna go number one again because we keep asking about this. It is because I once believed I was one, and others believed I was one. There's a slow chill, and for a moment it seems as if she's going to fade. Yeah, so why did you believe you were a watcher? The world has many corners, and okay, so never mind. We've already asked this before. It's just that we asked it in a different context. She's, she's already said this. I'm going to go to number two. I see the word cipher in your mind and see its meaning. Although I did not train for such things, and the title feels more of a cloak the world casts on me and judges me. It is curious how a title such as that can define one, and at times be the source of such emotion that comes from no one. With the voices of others, it is a curse of the world. I feel that they were once marked, hated. Such hate feels dimmed now. I can feel it. Other hatreds have risen for other titles. But they burned bright in the past. Now hates have shifted focus, and they may fall in the same again. Either you or I. Something else. So, I'm going to go. And I, you. In asking, we reveal ourselves to each other. I'm going to go with number one. The air seems to go still for a moment. She actually hasn't identified her as grieving mother. Time stretches as it did before the two of you first met. There is a wash of uncertainty from her mind, slowly shaping into questions that swirl and do not coalesce. She does not move. She seems paralyzed as if you have just wrapped her in a cold blanket. That is a question for you, not I. That is not my name. Although if you wish to hang the title on me, I cannot stop you. Is that what you see when your eyes fall upon me? That's interesting. I, that, that, that explains a lot. I'm like, I, she never said her name. As a watcher, you may see what I do not, or your mind shapes the thoughts I project into a new meaning. There's a truth in that title, but it's not all I am. You must have felt it, seen it. It has as many names as the pain it caused. As the words take shape, you seem to t they seem to tumble from her and the wave is great, rushing into your mind. She's surprised you feel as if you've been touched by the Biawaki cat. And behind it, cutting through the torrent like a knife, are the thoughts of the grieving mother. There's a wound cut across the belly of the world, a jagged knife that has stripped the stems from men and carved furrows in the wombs of women. There is much I have forgotten, but I can I can feel the wound all around me. It will not let me rest, not let me be. The children have gone silent, yet their voices may be heard again. Interesting, sir. Of course, because of the Holoborn. The word. There's a slowness of her thoughts as if the word is being weighed, accepted. It doesn't feel natural to her, you can sense it. It was once unknown to me as much of what has unfolded in the outside world. When the curse came upon us, I thought it a smaller thing, a thing of communities and hearts. It was only when I walked did I feel it stretching ar out around me in the cracks of the world. Children have been cursed. I do not think it was something they caused, nor something deserved. That which is inside them has been torn away. I do not know how, but this is wound must be stitched close. The world bleeds forth from a woman's legs. If this blood is not stemmed, the world will die and grow quiet. I think she just said that she doesn't know the cause, but I'll ask her anyway. There's desperation, a we welling fear. You can almost hear her thoughts shivering, and you realize she is as lost as you are on the matter, and then a sudden sharp clarity. I shall know it through. Your eyes will track the cause, find the path, and I will be beside you. There is no wound that cannot be healed. And if you are truly a watcher, then this wound 
may be seen for what it is. You saw me where I hid. Whoever's hand have, hands have still the world, you shall see them too. I'm going to go to number one, I guess. Number two is really dumb. I will be there and you will do what must be done. You were given your sight so that you may watch the world and you will tend it. The children shall have their voice again. If your will is weak, then I shall strengthen it. Lean upon me. You feel the weight in her words, as if her hands are on your shoulders. You feel the questions in your mind lose their edge and become merely words, as I lean upon you. You shall be my eyes, and I shall be your hands when the time comes. Interesting. We'll go with number two, I guess, because it seems random. Those titles are markings on a map and channel people's minds in violent directions. Such things are a threadbare blanket cast upon the world when, where men and women seek more importance than simply being. So how do you see the world? The world is a field of souls, tilled by Barath's wheel. The thought of cultures and territories does not concern me. The sowing and harvest of the field does. Barath's wheel is slowed, perhaps stopping altogether. Whatever words, titles, laws, and blades, not devoted to carving away the harm or healing that wound, holds little importance to me. Interesting. Let's go to number four. So we have a good idea of her character now. Who is this? Is this her? That is so cool. I like that. Her selection noise? The, the tinkling of her chimes. So, let's see. She has some ability that she can use that apparently um, will restore her energy. So here's the armory. And she will actually make a good partner to the main character in the sense that like she's also a soul looker, so I think that will be interesting to have the two of them interacting. So just ventured into town, I'm about dry on some of my stocks, but you're welcome to have a look-see. How did you get burned? By the flame, how bad does it look? Just say it, I know you'll tell me straight. I'm gonna go with it looks like it hurts. That might that's a mighty soft way of putting it. I've been keeping an eye on a Drake's nest east of the town, at Deerford Crossing. The beast stayed just long enough to lay a clutch and moved on. Thanks to the Sky Mother it wasn't a full grown dragon. She looks at her bandaged arm and grimaces. Fresh eggs are much more useful than the ones they get passed between merchants or left in nests for weeks or more. And that clutch looked to be at its peak. I thought I'd see about getting an egg, but I didn't realize so many of them had already hatched, or that young worms were so territorial. Let's see what's so special about the eggs. They're one of the strongest, strongest tonics known to Kith, if you leave out Caro Golwyn, of course. I'm not saying anyone should take that. The dragon eggs are known to make Kith bold, purposeful. Some even think they'll protect from Beelox. All I know is everything everyone's pining over their potions made from dragon eggs. But the damn roads can't reach none of my suppliers, so I'm stuck with whatever I can scrounge up in the wood. Deer cap, river reed, and the like. Well, I could get an egg. Seems easy enough. She keeps her gaze steady, but you see hope kindling in her eyes and twitching at the corners of her mouth. I sure hope you're not leading me on. I don't think I could stand getting burned again. If you really need to go after it, I'd certainly pay you. Just remember, big as they are, dragon eggs are fragile, and there's a lot more I can do with a whole one. Hail, traveler. Anything else I can do for you? I've got some handy ointments if you're braving the roads anytime soon. Okay, I'm gonna go with number three. Brigands, looters, you name it. The gods may be hollowing out our baby, but it's grown folks that's rubbing out the rest of us. Robbing the rest of us, I guess. People are scrambling to Defiance Bay because they hear there's healthy births there, and all those refugees in abandoned homes attract desperate sorts like flies on dog shit. I go number two, I guess. I did see an Orland lady headed into Drake of Agendas the other day. Don't know what her name was, but she was acting real sneaky-like. Show me your wounds. Okay, so we have a reason to look at her wares. We can take a look here. Anything interesting? Not really. I don't think. But what we can do is 
start selling all this bullcrap that we've got just lying around. If it isn't fine, I'm just selling it. And this. I'm actually going to keep two suits of plate armor, because why not? Okay. Wow. Let's sell that. Not too shabby. Okay. So we are done with those. Now let's sell the weapons. Nope, not the axe. Keep it that. Actually, you know what? Never mind, I'm not gonna sell those. I'm gonna keep these weapons, just for now. I think I will sell all this crap though. There's no way that I'll ever have need to sell these. Keep that. Let's just sell all these hats. And there we go. Let's save the game. Hmm. And we just made a bunch of money that we're never going to have a reason to spend. Go in this building, see what's in here. And then we can just start going around to all the different uh, buildings and checking things out. This woman is interesting though, because she's... Keeping her around is simultaneously going to be useful and a test of will for Aldrea. Because this woman is a mind controller, and she's not... She does not seem to hesitate to use it. I mean, she's directly threatened. Without even intending to be a threat? Like, that's, that's how weird she is. She doesn't, it doesn't occur to her that mind control is not something that people would want. So, um, anyway, so she's directly said that she's going to mind control me if she doesn't like what I'm going to do. And... I don't know, I think that Aldrea would enjoy that challenge, that idea that this that she's gonna match wills with this other person. I can't find it anywhere. I've never we'll talk about this later. Get back to the dies, I'll take care of our customer. Welcome. Sturdy broad shouldered man. Fellow tradesman, eh? I hate to say it, but you won't find much work here. I'm gonna go with number two, I guess. He's hardly talked about anything else since those pigs of his went messing. The whole town's been worried about the monster. People are starting to see shapes in the windows at night. Hearing its growl and the snoring of their mates. It would put a lot of minds at ease if someone got rid of it. I sometimes venture out in the wilderness collecting ingredients for my dyes, mind you. I've seen tracks east to here near the river, but I couldn't there couldn't have been anything else. Something else you need? What's in the collapsed tower, I guess? Collapsed. Nothing. A few hides and stretching racks and a tallow stench Dangler's always met mumbling, grumbling about. The rest of it keeps dust, just like the full lady Fabian who tried to hold it. There's a bard at the inn who will tell you the whole blazing story if you want to hear it. Three. I make it a point to keep out of other people's business. Girdle of Mortal Protection. Oh, that's cool. Let's do it. Ooh, regenerate endurance. Too bad it's not to regenerate hit points. Or I would actually care. Not one for chit chat, elf. Let's speak to Trigal. So I have enough mechanics that I can pick the lock on this door, but I don't think that. Herent? Who's Herent? Interesting.
I have suspicions. I'm unlocking that door. Because I think he's hiding something. So I'm just going to unlock the door. And if he wants to do something about it, then Why he not? can go ahead and try and do something about it. What are you, Effigy's eyes? Saban, stop her! Your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. This raw damage? Cool. Ooh, that's really cool. I'm going to... My journal's been updated, apparently. Let's see. What's a soul with thing mark? So, let's just do this, see what it does. That grazed for no problem. that much damage? <laughs> yeah, I don't think, the thing is that, I don't know, this, this guy seemed very touchy about this place, despite saying that there's nothing in there. And those two things just don't mm -hmm. match up in my mind, so let's see what's in here. Mm -hmm. So the stuff gives off a heavy odor. That's expected. But he also has a cellar down here. So the final journal of Jonas. My son, tomorrow I become the effigy. Tomorrow I become Skane's embodiment of Mon Aeora, where tomorrow my master chokes on his own whip. For months, we met by secret conclave to plot our landlord's demise, all the while working the fields as if our hearts were consent. Skane teaches us to plot with the mind while keeping one's face impassive and inscrutable. Fair fights are for those with armies. The quiet slave is our whetstone, our focus. In his worship, we cause our... Our cause finds focus, clarity, and possibility. Tomorrow my master chokes on his own head. By the time you read this, I will be dead. I pray Skane does not abandon me for speaking of my plotting. But a son deserves to know how his father died, for I volunteered to be the effigy. Skane will inhabit my body using his, this old farmer's simple flesh as a puppet of godly rage. I've been shaved and anointed tomorrow morning. I will be your father in name only, as my manhood will be removed, my nose and ears removed. And my useless mortal eyes will be replaced with flint stones through which Skane might see the world. My son, I am sorry for the lies I have told you these past few seasons, but Skane demands so you can see. Even your mother knows nothing of my furtive service to the quiet slave. Curse my name if you must, but never weep for me, for I die for the betterment of our community, to smite our lord's corruption from the face of Aeor. Tomorrow my master chokes on his own lip, for tomorrow I become the effigy. Hmm. Interesting. Let's pop downstairs. It looks like we've got some sort of temple thing going on here. That's, that would be my assumption. And here I was expecting to just find a bunch of butchered pigs back here. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, either butchered kid, pigs or that woman who's missing. So here's skin bone. And instead we ended up with the, some crazy cult. It's always got to be a crazy cult. So we got beetles. Of course. Of course it's beetles. It's randomly facing off I'm so beetles. Not to alarm you, like, but I'm slowly dying with voice. <laughs> a bit late in the game to be fighting beetles. Wood beetles with that. These things are stuck for a long time. She's gonna be so nice to have in my party, you have no idea. The stained and rumpled bedroll appears to have been used recently. No yeah. problem. 
There was a soul thing trapped here. Great symbol has been painted on the canvas. Streaks of something that looked like blood. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't interact with it in the way that I was intending to. <sighs> I cannot keep up this pace. So here's a stone beetle. Let's see how many of them show up. That looks like an otter beetle. No problem. What's up, folks? My mind feels sharp as steel. Oh, interesting. So how does this work? Your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. I'm gonna check, is there a encyclopedia for classes? Not that I can see. My mind. Oh shit, this tag. Oh shit. Well, that's not allowed. Stun him. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Yeah. Keeping an eye out. Okay, so let's that thing. I think there were two Audra Beetles over here. Got it. Is that it? Okay, this one is something I can just poke over. Poke yeah. over. Okay, so yeah, she looks like she absorbs. She she defaults to fifty. Every time she attacks, she generates some. Does she go up to 50 on... Yes, she goes back to 50 every time a fight ends. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be so amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to using her a lot. Okay, so we're just gonna charge. And we need to get these people away a bit. We can pop. Oh boy, she's in the area of effect. So, he's now stunned. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. We just ran into an ad for no reason. That's less awesome. Let's go with, uh... Let's see. That is so cool. That's cool, leaving the plank. So what does this do? That is really cool. So this increases all damage taken by 30%, basically. It's kind of cool. I'm going to just use Silent Scream again, though. That was a huge area of effect. Can't believe that actually hit her there hit him. Yes. So her weapon becomes like a psychic brand. Really cool, I like it. I'm gonna save the game. So she's gonna be interesting. She basically will have two front loaded attacks per per fight, but then she'll also be no able problem. to accumulate more on enemies that are already incapacitated. Anything that's not incapacitated is really dangerous to attack. Come on, 
this has to be something I can open, right? No? Okay, so maybe the entrance is over here. Rather than not the entrance, the uh, thing that I activate. Ah, here we go. Sustain Mind Breaker. I just wanted to pull him away from everyone else in case that was a AoE. And what we're gonna do here... Is, oh, that thing's a, the same thing she is. So now I can actually understand what is going on here. Let's go. Jesus. Oh, she sure already used those, okay. I love how it does raw damage, by the way. That's really cool. I'm actually gonna no flank problem. this guy. I'm gonna swap her. Oh, she has a crossbow, never mind that. Yeah, every time she attacks, she gets a pretty decent amount of stuff. Other we can think. Goodbye. Eh? Cool. Oh, some fermented caribou milk would hit the spot right now. I'm tired. That's fast. Enter your shield. Black padded armor. Fish. So we have fought some humanoids in here. Excuse me. We fought some kith in here. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. <laughs> so this is all in a line. So that does have friendly fire. Not a trap. It's just the ice path you need yourself to know. Let's gain cultist rules? Hmm. Those who plot the destruction of their superiors while keeping an impassive face will whisper a prayer to Skane. Political rebels also call on him for justice in the hope that he will intercede on the behalf of Wobrika, with whom he is associated. However, Skane is an unforgiving deity. If a supplicant tips his hand or acts too rashly, the god will abandon him. The same goes for those who actually achieve their ambitions and rise to a higher station. They can no longer count on sky and raid. These rubs are comprised of little more than a simple undyed piece of cloth tied around the waist for a thick cord. They've been used during ribbon rituals of sky knight faithful it seems, where they are spattered with patches of blood both recent and long ride. Interesting. Sounds like exactly. Whoopsie doopsie. I didn't save before I that. I think I saved after the fight, but I didn't save after the fight. I was doing the looting. <sighs> Mistakes were made. Got nope, it. I did not save after the fight. I am a dumb person. My eyes are peeled. I am a dumb person. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can get both of these. Oh, I have to target a specific hit today. So that's just stunned. Yeah, 
And I think that for the most part I can basically just kill them during the duration of this done. Yeah, she's definitely gonna be doing some good work for me. I'm gonna save the game. What's this? So they detected a trap, but they they're only detecting the stupid thing. They're not detecting the actual trap on the chest. Hmm. So I'm not gonna be able to open that chest because there's a trap on it that I can't detect. Even with my superhuman. No, I thought I thought that I had uh, twenty perception, but apparently not. Okay, so let's say hello. Oh, so I guess we are gonna find the person here. The daughter. Now that I think about it, because that's the daughter of the Duke. And these people are the worshippers of that deity that hate successful Your people. thoughts must flow deep indeed. Oh no. So we're just gonna pull her out. That is a lot of dudes. Luckily, the right person is tanking them. I'm actually just gonna try to accumulate some more energy. Perhaps a mistake. No. Oh. He's number four now. Um, where are you? Oh, he's all the way over here, because I'm done. What are you doing? Suck it. Yeah, that is probably too far away to Oh no! I I did tag these guys on the back end of that. Hmm. Good. No problem. Now her. We can have her stun. Her mind powers. And then we're just gonna have her stun again. Because why the heck not? Dealing pure damage. Love it. We have a lot of crowd control at this point. I cannot keep up this pace. Yeah. Okay, so Slowly let's now. sneak in here. Would you look at this? Holy crap, that was close. I usually have Eldrea in the front for, for precisely that reason, but I failed to disarm them. What kind of mechanical skill do I need to get these traps disarmed? Holy crap! What is her mechanics? Her mechanics right now is 7. I don't know what level this game expects me to be, but I'm feeling very like, completely incapable of dealing with traps. Yeah. And it's weird because it's like none of the characters are actually predisposed to traps at all. Like, there has, I haven't run into a rogue. That is the silliest outfit. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's aggro these guys. Eh? Pull them around the corner. Oh boy, that's going to be pleasant to say the least. Okay, let's sure. keep moving. And he's going in a different room entirely. So this guy is going to be easy for the aggro. Following your ensemble. Charge in. Have her blast this guy. So is he stunned? Yes, he is. Stun him again. And he should be dead by the time he gets a chance to do anything. Maybe not. Not quite. But it's funny because like the, the fights that I'm having are no trivially easy, but 
actually dealing with the traps is hmm. impossible. I just can't disarm so anything. Silent. And Altrain is tired. Which is unfortunate. I would prefer not to be tired just in time for boss fights. I presume there's gonna be a boss fight. Okay, that hurt. Okay, so that is a pair of archers. Wait, what? Is it? Okay. That is a cleric, I think. I'm gonna just pop over here. I think it'll be reasonably easy to tear down a cleric in a few casters. Where are you? It's Grieving Mother. You're of course it's Grieving Mother, because having the... I mean, the spellcaster in melee while Aldrea is just chilling in the back and always good okay. plan. Okay. Okay. Need these toasts. Yeah. These, hmm. these tight corridors are not terribly good for dealing with archers. Eh? Save the game. And let's see here. My thoughts will be as silent as my feet. Spell up. Whoops. I un unpaused it when I was meant to pause it. Oh shit. This guy is paralyzed. Uh, these fanatics are kind of scary. That's the exact opposite setup going right here that I want. Have Aldrea tanking the most durable enemies while Adair is over there fighting the squishies. My thoughts were dull. Yeah, are both of these paralyzed? Yes, they are. Aldrea is getting out of here. Adair is moving a bit. He's moving in between these I'm two. We're gonna have Pally yes. and I uh, take that one for now. Yes. Why are you not moving? Jeez. Alright, she actually has a boatload of this stuff saved up now. Did she just crit that guy for 41? Is there AoE? One damage. Good job. I like it. Okay, so that one's toast. This guy left. Hey, yikes. So we've taken a lot of damage in this place so far. 
if we get some sleep. Hmm. And let's see. This is a big area. Yeah, I suspect that we're gonna find what we're looking for here. Quickly and quietly. There we go. I actually detected a trap. Good on me. There, done. Oh my goodness! I detected it and disarmed it. That is a rank seven difficulty trap. Let's see. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, this is a sneak attack bonus. No, I don't know. I think that these are actually... I think that these actually benefit me without, without having sneak attack. I think it gives me a sneak attack bonus. I think that it basically gives me the ability to use sneak attack. Yeah. So I get extra damage anytime I'm, I'm flanking a target. So let's see, she is not really good, is she? No, oh, she is, she is. She has these plus one constitution boots. Don't need them. So, fruit symbols been painted on the canvas and yeah. she something that looks like blood, and which is, let's face it, probably blood. Guess we'll save and then we'll die horribly because this is probably trap too. Scanite scripture. I don't really need to read mm. about what these idiots think. By the way, these kinds of cultists would piss off Eldrea. These guys are the exact kind of bullcrap that she despises. Because you'll note that the deity here will actually abandon you the moment you become powerful. And so the people that worship this deity are by definition weaklings. And they're not only weaklings, they're weaklings who think that they have this like perpetual state of victimhood. They don't think that they can not be victims. Oh yeah, some of these people would piss off Eldra at a no end. She would just want to kill them all. On the plus side, she's getting the chance to. So we're gonna save this, open this, and I accidentally needed both of those. Um, that was a book. Let's take a look over here. Is it here? Nope. Oh, it is. Saints War. Okay, that's what we need to look at. <sighs> save the game again. This is a grappling hook. Okay. Yeah. Have the grieving mother carry it. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna have her triage herself. Skulls have been lashed to this wooden energy. Save the game again. Sneak over here. There's probably dudes in here. Yep. I had a suspicion that that would happen exactly the way that it just did. Okay, so we're gonna need to knock this guy over. And have her stun him, hopefully. Okay, so he's now stunned for 9 seconds. I don't think he's gonna be getting a chance to do anything at all. Whoa, 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 whoa! Those archers! Holy crap! 
I have to pull Aldrea out of the fight completely because that archer just tore her to shreds. Wow. I'm really curious to see how much damage you could do with a bow in this game. Like if you had a team of archers, just how crazy would they be? Because I get the impression that it would be pretty freaking scary. Yeah. They know. Okay. So we have temple guards over here. Charging on out of here. Okay. We're not charging all the way out of here. Sure. Also, Wait. how did she get? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why she was in absolute melee range. Grieving mother pounding hmm. into these enemies. And that's an AoE stun. I mean, that's a really good attack. That is better than any of the spells sure. that any of my actual, like, limited resource spellcasters have. And it deals raw damage. It's unresistible. It's crazy. She has a plus 20 to hit, so that's a 20% chance to crit her. I'm going to try and knock this guy over. Alright then. And I'm gonna... I guess just charge him. Yeah. Whew. We're actually running low on resources here. And part of it's because we're not fighting as carefully as we would if we were fighting stronger enemies. Got it. I'll take a look. Whoa, Jesus, that's a lot of enemies. Can I just walk over to these guys with her and here we stun them? Because that would be a pretty cool way to start the fight. I'm just gonna Blast these guys. <laughs> so we hit all of them. This one's not stunned. This one's not stunned. So it looks like we only stunned one. Ooh, ow, that was a lot more painful than I was expecting, actually. She's snared too, which is a very bad thing. Oh, well, I guess we can grieve her mother now. Yikes. I guess we're gonna. Pop in here. One doesn't sit against the power of the same. 
Okay, so he can hopefully paralyze the ball. Let's do our dead. We'll fare better if we get some sleep. What is this? Caro Pan. That's a drug. Hmm. <sighs> Save this. Man, we're in bad shape. We are not healthy. We're tired. If secrets whisper here, I shall listen for them. So we are just going to blast him. We're just going to charge and blast him. That's an archer. Oh, dead. Also, ouch. Archers are painful. Okay, so. No problem. Let's take a look here. So how do I get in here? Oh, I needed to go over here. Lay in low. Okay, so this thing's streaked with blood. It's all very exciting. Why not? Locks picked, and we get more grappling hooks. I just get the impression that I'm going to be using a grappling hook soon. I'm not sure if I want to go over here and deal with this immediately, actually. Sure. Okay, let's save this. You know what? I should have the uh, speed up. And, oh, look at that. A place where I probably need a grappling hook to get across. Okay, let's just go over here. Oops. <laughs> Pile of corpses. Save the game. And let's get over here. Now, over here, we're going to need Altria first. Oh, hello, that's an archer. Let's get Point everyone back here. I'm just going to send him in solo. And it looks like that was the appropriate decision. Are you kidding? Like she just shot through this wall. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to keep this thing. Deceased. So. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Sorry, my contacts are bothering me right now, so. We have five minutes left. So we might have to do more of this in the next episode. And. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thanks for that! Eh? 
So this thing's now flanked. Might need some help. Crits and crits. It's crits all the way down. Just crash? Oh god, the game just crashed. Um, well, that was sudden. Uh, I hope that we didn't just lose all of our progress because uh, I was quick saving when it crashed. Uh, anyway, that's going to be it for today, so I'll see you guys next time.